Hey, you guys, I have a major update, and it regards BJ, that surprise witness, and Lima Yevremovich. Mora, Aura, Omar, or is it Takali? Hey, y'all, look what I got here. Something you guys have been waiting for, and I've been taking notes. So most of you already know, this is the cover sheet when Lima filed the civil lawsuit against that surprise witness, BJ. And it was for assault, or verbal assault, and slander. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. As of February 13th of this year, 2024, BJ of that surprise witness had court. Court with Lima Yevremovich. Bam Margera's old guardian. Most of you are aware of this whole saga that Lima had started with harassing BJ and eventually attempting to sue her in court multiple times. During Lima's time as so-called legal guardian of Bam, BJ had become aware that some things that were going on were just not fair, right, or even humane. This made her worried for Bam and for the future of others with their human rights as she saw someone possibly A-B-U-S-E-I-N-G their power and position. Usually when there is one crack in the floor, soon the crack spreads in different directions and takes over till it all collapses. And this had BJ concerned. Eventually, the discovery of her twin sisters and the connections to Lima's VR so-called healthcare business came to light, more like a rented out space to be a test subject's nightmare. That surprise witness found some gaps and holes in the story and timelines, which led to a giant web and long, deep rabbit hole, which had <laughs> tunnels leading all over the place, including the death of a woman named Amanda Rapp. No one seemed to understand or make sense of how Lima even truly entered the chat and got connected with Bam Margera in the first place. And how did she meet Albert Monero and Mark Leta of Soft White Underbelly? It all makes you really wonder. After the many mysteries, lies, and discoveries, Lima felt threatened by her own doing of making herself and her family public figures when YouTubers started to ask the same questions as BJ as they saw with their own eyes public posts on BAM's Instagram knowing something was definitely up. But of course, Lima had to put a target on BJ trying to make her out to be known as the loony lady and attempted apparently to use her baby talk voice and connections with even Steve-O and Mark Leta and tried to start a smear campaign press tour against BJ by going on No Jumper, which was really more like no common sense. If anything, if you ask me or anyone really, they will tell you she made herself look horrible, unprofessional, and honestly unstable. When she was interviewed by Adam22, it was just all confusing, awkward as hell. It was just a shit show. All this led to Lima then penning up a lawsuit against BJ back in August 2022. She had lost without prejudice, yet the judge overall agreed with BJ's legal team and requested that they dismiss the case in general. In New Jersey, it was considered pretty much over with, but Lima retaliated and then filed a restraining order in Florida against BJ focusing and aiming for it to be for BJ not to be allowed to speak about Lima or the lawsuit. You know, for someone who is trying to help people, she sure likes to use intrusive and threatening tactics and requests to have someone's voice and human right to be taken away. I don't think I'd want to be taken into care for anything by her. My God. Y'all, this shit is crazy. But sadly, I feel it runs a lot deeper than people may think. And that's why nothing is probably being done about it. There's way too much unusual behavior, information, even fake Harvard photos. I can't even. 
when it comes to the lawsuit, Lima's request was based on points and details that were ultimately false and do not apply. The situation was denied and stricken due to First Amendment human rights and information shared and discussed with public documentation as BJ filed with LA with her team in line with an anti slap law. And let me make mention, when BJ, that surprise witness, made videos about all this and used that information, she took the time and had the respect regardless of everything, to redact and edit out things she felt that should be kept private or out. In this situation, again, BJ won the anti slap case. Overall, due to that, she was rewarded and entitled to attorney fees. Therefore, Lima is due to pay her over $80,000 to BJ that surprised witness. But Lima is still not done. During all this, she apparently secretly went and tried to get another temporary R.O. on BJ. I swear, this woman is unhinged. Benjamin Canalali, or whatever his name is, Lima's California attorney, failed to notify BJ or her lawyer oh that they were going to file that R.O. in California, which denied her of due process of defending herself as it was sent through without any knowledge on Brittany's side. Due to the neg- negligence, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm laughing because I'm already tongue tied with certain words already again. Um, due to the negligence of that attorney, it's pretty much already backfired. <laughs> she was trying everything she could to scare BJ and retaliate against her, continuously in numerous ways, attempting to silence her. Lima needs to stop filing this, these like frivolous lawsuits that are just out of jealousy and guilt. You can't even afford it. We've seen your lobbying Zoom speech multiple times, girl. Okay, we'll leave it as that. First of all, we are talking about that surprise witness. You can't silence that girl, y'all. She is loud, proud, and powerful. Love you, Kay Mean It. Yeah! Lima. We are still waiting on that video, by the way. Oh, a video no. update on your YouTube oh, channel no. that you said you were going to come out with to explain everything. Oh, Lima from Aura, where is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. All of this just proves, in my opinion, BJ was on to something. Well, many things. And <laughs> you're just terrified, Lima, of being fully exposed. You have exposed yourself by your own actions throughout all this. Why aren't the courts looking into the real reasons for all of this chaos being brought before them? What happened? What really happened to Amanda Rapp? Why was the cause of death lied about? Oh! What was or is going on with that family? The sisters, the mother, the change of names, the lies and fake names falsifying information to an officer of the law on lawful documents and reports. Why was Dahlia's statements about ST not taken seriously or really investigated? When the mother, Lima Omar, was said by her daughter to be A-B-U-S-I-N-G and harming her, why was she not arrested? This was all seen on body cam footage. Many people have seen it with their own eyes. That something is wrong with this whole picture. It's like a nightmare movie. And what was this about Lima setting up a so-called army and making f supposedly, allegedly, you know, a fake following of BJ to get more information on her? Grow the fuck up, girl. Grow up and move on. Somebody caught on to your games. It's over. If you want to get away from this, start fresh, start new, just own up to it and, and just call peace and stop with the bullshit. I just, I, I'm out of words for it. The more you keep doing, the more people are going to see your true colors and how you yourself need help. Okay. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I think I told you what I think.
already. I'm Linda, and that's for the record, Your Honor.